welcome back to my channel. This is not going to be uh, like a blind reaction. Is that what they're called when it's the very first time you're watching something? I said before many times that I have already seen Doctor Who. I already saw pretty much everything there is except some of the classic Who episodes. Some of them I haven't seen. But yeah, th this episode that I'm about to watch, I already saw it. The thing is, I started to do this Doctor Who reactions and do the Doctor Who drinking game. And I scheduled it in my, you know, weekly schedule or something I, that I was supposed to post a Doctor Who reaction on Mondays. Last Monday, I didn't do anything because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take shots by myself, you know, it's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> and I can't really have a guest every week because most of my friends are out of the country and <laughs> yeah, I can't. If I had like a glass of wine while watching Doctor Who, that would be nice, but shots every time, you know, the doctor says fantastic or something, I think that's just straight sad. <laughs> Um, I, but I couldn't miss another day, you know, not posting Doctor Who again. So I decided that I would just watch it again. Listen, I love Doctor Who and I can watch it a million times and I'm never going to get bored. Um, sorry if you want to see like a, like a first time reaction. This is not going to be it. I'm sorry. You're probably disappointed. I can't do anything about it. Please don't leave any nasty comments saying that you wanted an honest reaction. At least I'm being honest right now and I'm telling you this is not going to be a first time reaction. A blind reaction or however they're called. With that being said, this is Doctor Who Season 1 Episode 3. Forgot the name. Um, the Unquiet Dead? Something like that? <laughs> Let's just do this. I am recording my screen because I have the Doctor Who the season in DVD. And it's really lag and just as lag, pretty much as lag as you're gonna watch it. Over here is as lag as I'm watching it. Maybe a little faster, but yeah. You know, I love this episode because Charles Dickens, I am obsessed with that writer. this episode quite a few times and it's still freaking scary like that that scream I just got goosebumps yeah the unquiet dead I think I said it right <laughs> it's when from Torchwood yes Love them both, okay? I would have had to drink there. I'm starting to think about it. I know it's I said it's sad, but I have a bottle right there. I'm saving it for Christmas though. Do I wanna save it for Christmas or do I wanna drink it now? Is he the same actor that played Charles Dickens in The Invisible Woman? I think he is. I love Charles Dickens! Even if I know this is just an actor. I just... Uh, I wish I would have lived to actually see him in person. <laughs> yeah, you like that human, honey. I have said this before in my videos, but in case you haven't heard, I am so obsessed with Doctor Who. You know how everything in life is like before Christ and after Christ or something like that? I don't know how to say it in English. I think my life is 
before who and after who. <laughs> Actually, on my birthday a month ago, I was looking at the stars and just wishing the doctor would just come and pick me up and take me far away. And I started crying because I knew that was not gonna happen. I know that that's sad, but I've had sadder birthdays, so. <laughs> A trick. It's eating something. It's like no. <laughs> I would have to drink there again. No, sir, you're not drinking by yourself. Again, if I had like wine or something, but not shots of straight rum. No, sir, don't do it. Don't do it. I wanna do it. <laughs> Yeah, just put her on top of the dead woman, just like that. <laughs> oh, he likes it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put her where they put the dead people ill. Freaking zombies, dude. Well, with an undertaker, keep office hours. The dead don't die on schedule. I demand to see your master. He's not even safe. Someone's on. I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Dickens, but the master's indisposed. Having trouble with your gas? Shakespeare is going. Are you all right? Are you all right, really? <laughs> a body coming out of a what what is that called coffin with white eyes and you're gonna be you're kidding me right oh fuck no okay so i just realized this is the guy from the beginning right so i've seen this episode like three times or more <laughs> And this is the, like, she really killed him? Isn't, isn't he his, her nephew or something? <laughs> Creep! Ha! <laughs> I wouldn't touch it! Uh-uh, ew! Girl? You're not in 2005 anymore. Hmm, creep. There, I will have to drink again. <laughs> His face is just like, oh fuck no. There, I will have to drink again. Yeah, but that's not right, you know? That body belonged to someone else, and without their permission, you shouldn't give it to something else. You can't let them run around inside the dead people. Why not? It's like recycling. Seriously, though, you can't. Seriously. Those are bodies. It's just wrong. Those bodies were living people. We should respect them, even in death. Do you carry a donor card? It is different, though, because... You're allowing them to take your organs if you die. You gave them permission. <laughs> Before she's your girlfriend, after you become her boyfriend. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember this part. They killed him? I think he's gone a little bit wrong. Oh, 
what do you think? Run, Charles! You're way too important! It's impossible for me to die, isn't it? Wibbly wobbly, I'm sorry. baby. Wibbly wobbly. Cardiff. What's Cardiff? Like, why is it so bad? Oh, right, you know what? This time, the doctor is not the one who saves the day. It's Charles Dickens! <laughs> I would have taken him as a companion for real. I don't wish to impose on you, but I must ask you. My books. Do they last? Oh, yes. I just love it Come on, Rose. when they meet <laughs> famous people now, boy. See ya. and they're just like what's gonna happen to whatever my books my paintings with um, Van Gogh and all that stuff and they're just like you're gonna be huge He's so happy. Next episode, we're gonna see the woman from Outlander. Yes, there she is. I knew it. It was her. I knew it. She's just a lot older in Outlander. I love Doctor Who so much. I keep saying this, but I just. I love it. I love Doctor Who. And I miss Christopher Eccleston. You know, I think he's very underrated. Eccleston was such a good doctor. And I know he wasn't, you know, like very good looking or anything, but it's not about being good looking, I guess. I love Christopher Eccleston as a doctor. His doctor was kind of grumpy and kind of sassy and sarcastic and I just I love him I think my I can't pick a favorite doctor but I have like this special bond for David Tennant and for Peter Capaldi you may already know if you saw my reaction to this last season um, I love Peter Capaldi's doctor because it's so grumpy. I just love a grumpy person, okay? <laughs> um, actually, my first doctor, my very, very, very first doctor was uh, Matt Smith. Uh, I remember my friend wanted me to watch Doctor Who, but I kind of didn't want to. So he showed me the episode where... Um, I can't remember the name of the episode. They, they get like Amy gets trapped with an angel inside. I don't know, like an RV or something. Uh, and then, like she can't open her eyes, and she starts to count down. You know that episode. Um, he showed me that episode and I, I just loved it. I was like, yes, I want to see next episode. And my friend was like, nope, you're going to watch Christopher Eccleston first. I was like, what? No, he's ugly. I don't want to watch him. Ew, I want to I wanna keep watching the, the cute doctor. And then I just fell in love with Christopher Eccleston. And then when he regenerated to David Tennant, I was like, what? No, I, what? I love Christopher Eccleston. Why? And then I fell in love with David Tennant. And then when he regenerated, I cried so much. But I knew that my first doctor was coming. So I was like, okay, this is cool. And I just, I fell in love with, David, with, with Matt Smith too. And when he regenerated to Peter Capaldi, I, I didn't even cry. I was sad, of course. 
But I was so excited to see an old doctor. I wanted to see an old doctor. And this was when Netflix had Doctor Who. It, uh, Netflix, Netflix also had Classic Who. But not all the episodes because of the lost episodes thing. Uh, I still watch them all. The, like, all the episodes they had from Classic Who. I just love Doctor Who so much! <laughs> I still don't really want a female doctor, you know? He's been a man for I don't even know how many years, 54, more? And I don't know, it's just ever since I watched Doctor Who for the first time, I kind of always fantasized about the doctor coming to pick me up and just to take me far away from here and to be honest I don't have many girlfriends because I can't get along with girls I, most of my friends are guys they're gay guys I don't really get along with girls it's I think it's it's me. <laughs> it's problem in me because I never learned how to socialize with them or how to be a normal girl. I don't know. And, you know, I can't really fantasize anymore about the doctor just coming to pick me up and take me. Because if it's going to be a girl, then I'm not really going to get along with her. I have very few girlfriends and I made them when I was like six years old <laughs> so uh, I, don't, I don't know I really last time I shared my feelings about this doctor being female thing I got so much crap because I didn't want the doctor to be a woman so I hope I don't get crap right now because you know everyone is entitled to their, to their opinion and this is mine so respect it, and I'll respect yours. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode with me. Please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and you can also follow me on my social media like Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. The links will be in the description box. As always, I'm Sara Miano, and I'll see you in my next video.